The M113 has been around since the early 1960s, serving in countless wars from Vietnam to Iraq and yes, even in the Philippines. Known as a reliable armored personnel carrier, its main role was troop transport and battlefield mobility. But as warfare evolved with drones, precision weapons, and advanced tanks, the standard M113 was simply outdated. And that's where modernization programs stepped in. Hey, hirap talaga ng isang OFW. Malayo ka na sa pamilya mo. Bawal ka pang magkasakit. Yung kinikita ko, hindi ko solo. Kailangan makapagpadala sa pamilya. Kapag umuwi naman, ubus yung naipon ko. Kaya kailangan umalis ulit. Buti na lang, nakita ko itong AI na shinare sa akin ng kapwa ko OFW. Kahit nandito ako sa abroad, kaya kong kumita ng extra income. Malaking tulong ito sa akin dahil pwede ko ito gawin at kumita kahit may trabaho ako na full-time. Sa ngayon, extra income siya pero later on, magiging full-time income ito pag uwi ko for good. Matutupad na din ang mga pangarap ko. Pwede din ito sa mga empleyado, retiree, home-based mom, student na nagahanap ng online business. Gusto mong malaman ito? Sabay-sabay natin abutin ang mga pangarap natin. Kung kaya ko, pareho na din kakayanin. Click mo lang send message sa ibaba. Under the AFP Modernization Programs Horizon 1 and 2, several of the Philippine Army's M113S were upgraded by Israeli defense firm Elbit Systems. These enhancements included remote weapon stations and 25mm cannons, making them far more effective in urban combat, as seen in the 2017 Battle of Marawi. But now, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has taken the concept of an M113 upgrade to a whole new level. So, what makes Rafael's M113 upgrade stand out? Central to the upgrade is Rafael's Samson Remote Weapon Station, RWS, likely the 30mm variant, paired with support armaments such as a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and integrated spike anti-tank guided missiles. This combination supercharges the M113's lethality across diverse battlefield roles. The vehicle incorporates blast mitigation and kinetic energy threat protection technologies developed by Israeli armor expert Plasm, significantly upgrading crew protection against small arms, IEDs, and other threats. Rafael equips the upgraded M113 with advanced electro-optical targeting systems, thermal imagery, laser range finding, and full C for eye, command, control, communications, computers, and intelligence integration ensuring real-time battlefield networking and compatibility with NATO operations. By revamping existing M113 platforms, Rafael presents a budget-conscious path to battlefield relevance, offering modern IFV capabilities without the expense of acquiring entirely new vehicles. First, the remote-controlled weapon station, RCWS, it allows soldiers to operate weapons safely under armor protection. Second, the integration of Spike LR anti-tank guided missiles. These give the M113 the ability to destroy even modern main battle tanks from over four kilometers away. And third, the addition of a counter unmanned aerial system, or CUES. With drones dominating modern conflicts, especially in Ukraine, this is no small upgrade. Having a system designed to detect and neutralize drones could save armored units from devastating ambushes. But this upgrade isn't just about major wars. It also fits Philippine defense needs. In counterinsurgency or urban warfare, precision-guided weapons mean fewer risks of collateral damage compared to airstrikes. Think about Marawi. An upgraded M113 armed with missiles and cannons could have neutralized fortified positions without calling in jets. In territorial defense, upgraded M113s could play a key role in deterring or inflicting heavy damage on amphibious landing forces. Imagine Philippine Army M113s positioned along coastal defenses, armed with Spike LR missiles, 
capable of shredding enemy landing craft before they reach the shore. Defense analysts hope that the Philippine Army's existing fleet of upgraded M113s continues to receive improvements. After all, the AFP still has many M113s in storage that could be modernized. If these upgrades push through, the Philippine Army wouldn't just have armored personnel carriers. It would have a fleet of missile-armed infantry fighting vehicles ready to face modern threats head-on. The old platforms can still dominate when given new life. In the end, Raphael's upgraded M113 is more than just a modernization package. It's a transformation. From a basic troop carrier to a missile-armed, drone-defending, precision-striking vehicle, it proves that old platforms can still dominate when given new life. So what do you think? Should the Philippines consider further M113 upgrades or move on to brand new infantry fighting vehicles altogether? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on Defense Forces Insight. If you like this video and want to watch more informative like this, click any of the two videos that will appear before this video end. Thank you for watching and see you in the one.